Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the challenges series. And uh, we are doing Hour of Python. We just got done doing one of the dictionary challenges called US States Challenge. You should have completed all of the string challenges so far. In this video, we are gonna tackle the Morse code challenge. So Morse code, basically what they want you to do is, um, you know, read this for yourself. I'll put this in the link below. But essentially what they want you to do is uh, turn it into code. So this is something that the military, I don't know if they still use Morse code, but they used to use Morse code to encrypt information. Uh, and then only the other person who had the decryption key would understand the message. The beauty of this is that if somebody was sending a message to another person and that person was intercepted in the middle, their message would still mean nothing to the person who intercepted them. That's the whole point of encryption. And that's what happens when um, also you're, when you're on Amazon and you're trying to purchase something, your card transaction goes through, but what happens is your information is encrypted. So if there was somebody in the, the something called man in the middle attacks, which is somebody who is in the middle uh, and taps into your home network or whatever, even if they intercept the data, your card information isn't like naked, like your uh, entire card number with your name. It's encrypted, so it looks like jumbled up code. And since they don't have the decryption key, the person who attacked you, they have no idea what that garbage means. So it's useless information to them, okay? That's essentially the idea. So this is um, very basic, simple encryption that we're gonna be doing here. Uh, and it's gonna be called Morse code encryption. Very simple algorithm. But you can imagine that people have spent years in this field doing research. And this is something that our banks today run on. This is something that Amazon and Netflix and literally every website ever uses. This is how your cookies are stored. This is how you um, store your information and log in with your password. The same reason Google doesn't actually know what your password is. They just know it in the encrypted jumbled up form. So uh, this is something that we use every single day and you deal with every single day and it's encryption. So, and we're doing the most basic uh, form of it. So it's a lot of fun. So let's jump right into it. Now, what I want you to do is give this challenge a try. This might be pretty tricky for you, especially since you might be new to dictionaries. Uh, if you have some experience with dictionaries, you know, really give this a try. This will test your skills. So pause the video and give it a try. Okay, hopefully you've given it a try now. So jump back into it. And now we'll try to solve it together, okay? All right, so there's another file called Morse. Again, if you had to write this giant dictionary, right? This is one big dictionary. It opens with squiggly brackets and it goes all the way down till here. And basically how dictionaries work is you have a key and a value and a key and a value. So if I put in A, it gives me this. If I put in B, it gives me this. The nice thing is you don't have to remember all of this. You just have to remember A and the computer remembers what the code for A is. So what do we have to do? Well, when we have the word like Z, right? We know how to Morse code Z. Basically what we can just say is like print um, okay, what is it called? Morse, Morse underscore code. And then we can index it by Z. And what this will give us back is simply the Morse code of Z. So it'll give us back a hyphen, hyphen, and a dot, dot, just like that. Okay, so this is effectively what we are trying to do here. Except you want to Morse code an entire word. So what happens if I give you a word like trinket, right? What happens if I give you a word like trinket? Well, isn't that just, you get the Morse code for T, then you get the Morse code for R, then you get, and then you add it to the Morse code of T, then you get the Morse code of I, then you add it to the Morse code of T and R, then you get the Morse code of N, then you add it, to the Morse code of T, R, and I, and so on and so forth, right? And then when you get the Morse code for the letter, the last T at the end, you append it, right? Which means adding something to the end, append. Prepend is adding something to the front. So when you get the, the last T, what you're gonna do is you're gonna append it to the Morse code of T, 
followed by the Morse code of R, I, and so on and so forth, all the way to the end, okay? So it's just going to look like a bunch of hyphens and dots. Okay, so, well, how do we do that? Well, that's why God made for loop, right? Made it really simple for you. You just run through it, and then you just keep appending to a string. So I'll show you what I mean. So we'll say for a letter in string, okay? So if you give us a string like trinket, we will loop through it. A letter will be T the first time or the next time, so on and so forth. And what I'm going to say is uh, Morse code. Let's create a final string. So this is what we're going to return at the end. And we'll make this empty. And then what we'll say is um, final string plus equals or... Yeah, plus equals, or if you don't know plus equals, then this is what it looks like. Morse code of that letter. Okay, so what this basically looks like is we just keep concatenating things to the end of uh, final string. So basically, letter will be T the first time. Um, and final string will be um, just an empty string, okay, like this. And this will simplify, this will simplify to whatever T's Morse code is. So T's Morse code is just a hyphen, so this whole thing will just turn into a hyphen. Um, and after we're done with this part of the loop, this thing just turns into a hyphen like that, okay? And this goes back to being Morse code, and then goes back to being letter, and this part goes back to being letter, right? And then when we loop through again, a similar thing happens. Now we're at R, letter becomes R, this becomes R. Um, we add final string is this. So and then R's Morse code is dot hyphen dot. So this becomes dot hyphen dot uh, and it becomes a string. And what happens when you concatenate two strings? I'll show you in the command line. They become one. They just get added to each other. And then it goes back to being what it, what it was okay so I think that should be it and then at the end we want to return whatever final string is um, and that should be good so if we give it trinket what we should get back is this hyphen dot hyphen dot 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 hyphen dot hyphen dot hyphen dot hyphen okay so let's give this bad boy a try oh this should be letter okay let's give it a try and hyphen dot blah 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 it looks like it matches what the trinket at the top was and then also i'm sure that if we try z it'll it'll match what z is as well so we'll give that a try now and indeed it does okay so if this was at too fast of a pace for you which it should be because i want to make this video go as fast as possible so then somebody who can't catch it, just go slow, rewind, put it at a slower speed, try it yourself. Uh, and if somebody who's keeping up with me, they're able to go through it without getting bored and wanting to shoot themselves, right? So that's why I try to go through it fast. Don't feel intimidated if you can't solve these. I don't expect you to solve these because you're just starting out. Uh, and even if you have a few months of experience, it shouldn't be like you should be able to just do it right away. OK, uh, it should take some time. You need to think um, you should make some errors. And uh, yeah, don't don't when you get these challenges. And if I do them effortlessly and you find yourself not doing them effortlessly, don't be like, I guess I just wasn't born for programming. There's no such thing. I was the biggest idiot when it came to when I was starting out. Um, and I was going through this stuff like it would take me six hours to do even the most basic thing. So it's just literally trial, error, practice, and then I learned it. And then it just becomes like a skill like swimming or biking or walking. Like you can't forget it. It's hard. So even sometimes now when if I don't code for months, I come back. It's To me, it's like speaking a language. 
or one of the other skills you learn, like playing soccer or something like that. So don't feel discouraged. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you didn't get it, not a problem. Just practice it. Try to do it from scratch by yourself without taking any help the next time. So come back, understand as much as you can today, come back the next day, and then uh, try again without looking for any help, okay? Hopefully that was helpful for you. As always, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.